In this age of extreme, and you might even say pathological acceptance, I was so personally disheartened and uh, frankly stunned to see the same acceptance withheld from one of the great transgender trailblazers of our time. Ryan Webb is a Republican councilman in Delaware County, Indiana. Uh, he is, or I should say, uh, was a white male conservative. But earlier this month, Webb made a courageous announcement. He came out as a trans woman of color. Here's the local news uh, reporting on the story. Watch. Councilman is coming out as a transgender, as transgender and a woman of color. Delaware County Councilman Ryan Webb announced that he now identifies as an Indian American woman. Since that announcement, he's received some support, but a lot of backlash, many calling him childish, despicable, even calling for things like execution. In a statement Webb gave to IT Mate, he says, quote, it is unfortunate that I cannot simply be given the same space and respect to explore my identity that so many of those targeting me demand for themselves. It's possible I may change my mind down the road. The process of identity exploration is complex and oftentimes at the end of our personal journey, we end right back where we started. Webb goes on to tell IT Mate, this is just his true authentic self. Incredible. Our brave sister, Mrs. Ryan Webb, has come out of three closets all at once. She reveals herself to be a woman, a person of color, and a lesbian. Mrs. Webb has pulled off the intersectional hat trick. And here she is on Facebook announcing her truth to the world. Quote, after much consideration, I've decided to come out and finally feel comfortable announcing my true authentic self. It is with great relief that I announced to everyone that I identify as a woman, not just any woman, but as a woman of color as well. I guess this would make me a gay slash lesbian as well, since I'm attracted to women. Whew, that felt good to finally get out there and start living life as my true self. I'm excited to bring some diversity to the county council. Until today, we didn't have any females of color or LGBTQIA PC++ on the council. I'm glad that now we do. Mrs. Webb goes on to note that she is, in fact, the first lesbian woman of color in the history of Delaware County to, to ever serve on their council. And that's just one of the glass ceilings that she has shattered. But perhaps the most remarkable thing has been Mrs. Webb's physical transformation. They only very briefly showed it. We'll put it up on the screen again. You can clearly see uh, the before and after. Who can deny her lived experience after seeing a photo comparison like this? She was a run-of-the-mill white male before, but now she is a beautiful, vibrant black woman. If you put Mrs. Webb in a room with Meghan Markle, you would hardly be able to tell who is who. And yet, in the year 2023, no less, Mrs. Webb's trans identity has been viciously rejected and ridiculed by the very people who claim to be defenders of trans rights. She has been even doxxed and harassed and threatened and protest. At the most recent council, uh, county council meeting, transphobic leftists showed up in mass to call for her removal simply for being transgender. Here's one woman repeatedly misgendering Mrs. Webb, even while accusing her of, quote, making a hate speech. Listen. The actions that, that Ryan has taken are very embarrassing to the city of Muncie at this point. If you're transgender, that's fine. He is creating a conflict against some transgenders based on his post. And the fact that, you know, he's flaunting the, the minority, you know, lesbian as such, as the first council person as a lesbian. And I, I just, I don't understand why he would trash transgenders in one post and the very next day decide that he is transgender. It creates a divide. We have transgenders all over Muncie and they have the right to be respected. And he has diminished some of that respect to them. And he's also diminished some of that respect to minority women, you know, Native American women, black women. It, it, I, am, I feel that he has basically made a hate speech in this post on April 11th. And I feel that he should resign. And if he doesn't, I would, I would look at county council to talk to legal and see what they can do about removing him because he has created some hate. She doesn't understand, she says. Well, ma'am, it's not Ryan's job to help you understand. BIPOC women in this country already do enough emotional labor. Thank you. It's not up to them to make you feel comfortable. If you don't understand, that's your problem. 
and something you ought to frankly keep to yourself. Stop demanding that queer people explain themselves. Stop burdening marginalized people with your ignorance. But we should expect a cis white woman to be so obtuse. The really astounding thing is that even Ryan's fellow trans women, her alleged compatriots, heaps scorn on her. Watch this. Councilperson Ryan Webb announced publicly on social media and to several news outlets that he now, now identifies as a lesbian woman of color, retaining his male pronouns and bragging that he is now the first, this is a quote, LGBTQ plus woman of color to ever sit on the Delaware County Council and claiming to have shattered the local glass ceiling, end quote. If he were serious, I'd sing his praises. But instead, I know better. We all do. I know better because of his history of making hateful, anti-trans statements on social media and dis disrespecting one's pronouns. He has purposely and intentionally misgendered me, ridiculing my own gender identity. That's not something transgender people do to one another. Now he expects us to believe he is sincere. He is being disingenuous, and his words not only embarrass himself, but you, the county council. His comments are disgraceful, and they fall below our expectations of an elected official whose job it is to represent all his constituents. He no longer deserves to serve on this council, and I ask him to resign. Well, it is a shame to hear such bigotry coming from such a beautiful woman. Uh, I have to admit, though, it was a little confusing to watch. On the one hand, I was horrified by the racism and internalized transphobia. On the other hand, I was kind of delighted and nostalgic because uh, she reminded me of the Chris Farley lunch lady skit. And I mean that in a good way, of course. It's the highest compliment that I can give to a woman. And unfortunately, uh, it's the only compliment I can give to someone so hate-filled and intolerant. It's a shame to see a trans woman climb the ladder to societal acceptance and then try to pull it up after her, leaving Ryan Webb stranded down below. Yet another woman of color abandoned by the system. There were many moments like this at the meeting, one person after another getting up to deliver a lecture to Ryan, all of them uh, calling for, for her to resign or be thrown out. Well, he could only sit, I mean, she, she could only sit in dignified silence like so many BIPOC and queer women before her. Here's just one more example. Watch. First of all, I cannot believe that I had to take time out of my day today to attempt to teach a grown man how to behave appropriately. Ethics, as defined, are moral principles that govern a person's behavior or conducting of an activity. Brian Webb's lack of professionalism is outstanding and absolutely unethical. I've worked for the past 21 years, many people here, work your whole life, you know? Um, and as we all know, jobs require a certain amount of integrity to be exercised. In none of my jobs in the last 21 years, and that is many, many jobs, would I have been permitted to mock and disrespect my customers. She's had many, many jobs. Apparently she's good at getting jobs but not keeping them, you know, I wonder why. In any case, you get the idea. Ryan Webb, Delaware County's first POC lesbian woman to ever serve on the county council, has been rejected by his own, I mean, her own community. It falls then to the nation's leading LGBT children's author to come to her defense. And I will only say this. To everybody on the left, I'm sorry, but this is your bed. You have made it for yourself, and now you must lay in it. You don't get to reject anyone's truth. You do not have permission to be skeptical of anyone's claims about their own identi identity. And it's not me or Delaware County's first queer BIPOC councilwoman, Ryan Webb, who have denied you permission. You have denied it. You have set the rules for your own game. And those rules are exceedingly simple and clear. They may also be insane. You know, the rules might be insane, but, but that's your problem. 
The rules stipulate that a person's physical body has no bearing on any part of their 